My whole thing has always been, I think that every service member, every veteran deserves to have this chance. I was at a place when I, when I got here, I was pretty close to suicide. I mean, I knew what I was gonna do, where I was gonna do it, what day I was gonna do it. And the session that I had, where I was able to tell Mary who I wrote with, things that I've, no one on this planet knows. And that's kind of where the, that flicker of hope started, was right there that moment. It's one thing to talk to another veteran, another service member, and they always are gonna get it. Whether they agree or not, they're gonna kinda understand where you're coming from. But I think with a lot of us, our fears is what are the normal people gonna think if they hear what we did and what happened, and to kinda have all that just in a week and gone. Like, you don't have to be afraid of people wanna hear it. And then what can you do from, like I said, take that, all that horrible stuff and turn it into something that can motivate, help. Hope. Oh, I shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be gone. But it's not up to me who dies and who carries on. So I sit in my room and I close my eyes. Oh, me and my guardian angel were still on the rise. After the fact, once the song was done and people heard it and I had people come up to me and talk to me about how it related to them or how they thought maybe they were the only one that felt that way and the, that they heard it, I think that's what kind of motivates me to keep going is just seeing how out of what you might think are the worst things in this that this world has to offer, you can bring hope and strength and so much good to all these other people from such a horrible rotten thing and I think that once I kind of saw that things changed. With the participants and everybody opening up it's just more intense and you bond and then especially when you're sitting with the songwriter you, you definitely get that bond because you're you're basically reliving with that person all your worst moments or or your best moments, depending on what you're talking about. So they're getting to see your worst, your best. So you kind of, I don't know, you feel like you've known them forever because they know everything about you. You make connections. It's not just a social thing. It's not just, yeah, they were nice people. It's, it's a true, honest connection. And I think the people that, at least the people that know me from back home, I think just seeing me before and after is enough that for a lot of people, I, I don't have to tell them about it. They just, whatever it is, it must be awesome because they see it.